Good evening. Cassidy Bernard was a young mother when she was killed by the father of her children four years ago. Today, there was a feeling of justice and jubilation when he was given a long prison term after pleading guilty to manslaughter. CTV's Kyle Moore was in the courtroom and filed this report. The day began with a drumming ceremony inside the Port Hawkesbury Courthouse and ended in jubilation for the family and friends of Cassidy Bernard. I'm a little overwhelmed, but I'm really satisfied with the outcome. 23-year-old Dwight Austin Isidore was today sentenced to 15 years for manslaughter and a consecutive three years for child abandonment in connection to Cassidy's death. Minus time served, the father of Cassidy Bernard's children will spend a little more than 14 years in prison. I'm really happy my daughter had justice and a little girl girls have justice and now we just gotta learn on learn to live on without her. Isidore had initially been charged with second degree murder but the Crown accepted a guilty plea to the lesser charge of manslaughter. According to an agreed statement of facts it was on October 24th 2018. Cassidy was found dead in her bed under a blanket. She was covered in heavy makeup. An autopsy determined Cassidy had died from blunt force injuries to her neck and head. Court documents state that Cassidy's seven month old twin girls were found inside a crib next to their mother. The infants were cold, dehydrated, disoriented, and malnourished, but they survived. That three-year consecutive sentence is one of, if not the highest sentence imposed in this country for the offense of child abandonment, which recognizes the significant aggravating factors that were present in this case. Six victim impact statements were submitted to court here today, several of them read by family, friends, and community members. Mona Bernard saying her daughter's death has changed her life, that she is not the same person, and that her heart is broken. Cassidy's aunt looking at Isidore saying, I cannot believe what you did. And the chief of Wegelbaugh First Nation, Annie Bernard Daisley, telling Isidore that he is no longer welcome in the community. His young life is going to be served in prison where he has to live every day to think about the crimes that he committed against Cassidy. Every day he has to think about how he beat her to death. And every day he has to think about those two babies he left behind. Cassidy Bernard was 22 years old at the time of her death, and the family says she will be remembered as someone with a heart of gold. Kyle Moore, CTV News, Port Hawkesbury, Nova Scotia.